can't really clean up these bodies. Never mind. Oh my god, he just like... Okay, just put him down. <laughs> That's not, not quite what I was going for, but sure. Hello, and welcome to my Let's Play on Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, or at least the demo uh, right now. It's currently available to everyone, as far as I'm aware. You can find it on the Steam page. Uh, there will be a link in the description to that Steam page. Uh, developers of the game contacted me a few days ago and were wondering if I wanted to do a Let's Play on this game. And I said, hell yeah, it's got the word Shogun in the game, so, or in the name, so it must be good. Um, so... The full game will be released on the 6th of December, and I will do a Let's Play uh, on that when it is released. Um, but for now, it's just a demo, uh, which is, as far as I've been told, the full first level as well as part of the second level. So we're going to do that, and then hopefully it's going to be pretty damn sweet. So what this game is, real quick, uh, basically, this takes place during the Edo period in Japan, um, where the Shogun was challenged by the Emperor, and you control a bunch of ninja for the Shogun. Um, I'm not sure what the actual story is beyond that, but that's that's the sort of setup. You control a bunch of ninja. I think we start off with just one. I played a little bit of the first level just to get used to how it works. Um, and then after that you get more and more. I think you get up to five or six different ninja that you control at the same time. It's fairly challenging uh, as far as I've been told, so hopefully uh, it'll all go too well and I won't rage too much. Um, I'm gonna play on normal difficulty, even though that still says it's quite challenging and slightly forgiving. I'm not gonna play on easy or anything. There's three difficulties, there's hardcore as well as beginner. And then normal. Um, I've also set the game, you can set, set the audio to either English or J Japanese, which is awesome. There's uh, still English subtitles, obviously, uh, when you've got the Japanese selected, but I, I like that. It's like watching, like people, I, I mean, I don't watch anime, but people always say you can't watch anime uh, in English, um, like English dubbed. You have to watch your Japanese and then uh, English subtitles. So I think, I, think that, I think that makes sense. So anyway, let's do it. Nihon. エドの初期。悪く思わない。見つかると面倒 <笑> こいつは驚いた。大量の見張りだな。少し手こずるかもな。ここら辺は安全そうだな。だが、念のため注意して進もう。最初の任務はあの門のところまで行くことだ。肩鳴らしにぴったりだな。Alright. Right, so this is the game. As you can sort of tell, it's a it's a it's a a sneaky sneaky game. Um, stealth game, that's the word I was looking for. It's a sneaky game. Um so yeah, stealth game. You currently, as I said, control one character, but we will control one, uh, control more later on. As far as I can tell, oh, B to open a mission log shows you the mission objectives. It also gives you hints and logs all conversations you hear. All stories you pick up will appear in the mission log as well. All right, so climb up the cliff and infiltrate Osaka Castle. I'm gonna be over there. Hints, dialogue, yada yada. Don't really care about that right now. Um. Yeah, I, I think I think it's going to be a pretty complicated game in the way of controls and such because uh, you you basically well you control five different characters, um, and they all have different abilities and all sorts of stuff. And I reckon it's going to be rather difficult to to do all of it at the same time. But we'll find out. Quick save, quick save, any point. Uh, yada yada. No one really cares. Well, at least you guys don't. Um, so yeah. There's that. I, uh, you can see here the last save. It, sa it says when you last save, basically. So I can press F5 and saves, and then that timer will reset essentially, which is pretty cool. Uh, reset the cam. All right, so we can kill this guy. Let's get out of here, fella. Let's start crouching here. Shogun and army will attack soon. We will face them with honor. 
So we obviously work for the Shogun, hence Blades of the Shogun. Alright. Good idea, there's a lady over there. There's apparently an enemy as well, but I'm not sure if she actually is. We're gonna try and ignore her, obviously. Right, we can go several ways, doesn't look like there's anything here. Unless we can... Is there something like down here? We can jump down. We can get all the way down there, but that doesn't seem to help us very much. Like, we can climb this, but that we, we were already down there before. We don't want to be down there. We want to go this way. Highlight H, so that'll tell us, like, all the information in the area. Uh, as far as I'm aware, buildings uh, aren't actually, like, starved to death. Oh. Hayato can use his ninjato to kill enemies quickly and silently. Press H, uh, choose a target, and press mouse left to execute the kill. For a non-lethal approach, plus Y to select knockout and switch modes in the skill bar. And then we can pick one from on I don't know if there's any reason to go stealth or to go um, knockout instead of killing. So I'm, I'm a ninja, I'm just gonna murder people. Um, yeah, as far as I'm aware, I was gonna say buildings, you don't actually go into them. You basically, like we did just now, you go into it and then you can choose way to uh, exit. There's no actual thing beyond that. We're gonna go up here. I've heard otherwise. May as well put down another quick save, because why not? Let's take a second, sadly, but... Keep an eye on everything here. So we can jump down. There's a lady down over here, though. I'm not sure what she's doing exactly. She seems to be stuck with whatever the hell she's doing. I'm just gonna ignore everyone around here. And, uh... Well, well, where can we go if we go in here? Nowhere, as far as I'm telling me how to quick save. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll leave through the same door again. Tutorial mission, so it shouldn't be too difficult yet, although I really should be paying more attention. I can sh oh, I can zoom out further, that's very good to know, actually, because that was definitely a problem. Enemy view comb, all enemies have a field of view, uh, represented by the green stuff. It's R. Okay. It's actually the right mouse button instead of R. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. So that's this is the farthest I can zoom, yeah, I'm probably going to play the game from this angle here. Alright, so I think we want to go around this way. Probably get him in the back when he does that again. We have to wait a second. Sneak past this one, take him out quietly. So where are we supposed to go exactly? We want to get... I guess we want to go this way. This is apparently a an exclamation point. I'm not sure what that means. I guess it'll make, us, it'll make sound when we do it or something? Let's just kill this guy. Murder him! I should have... There you go. Hold control and he picks him up automatically as well. See, I don't know what's in there. I guess it's just saying I can't I can't go in there or something. So I guess, I don't know. This is as far as I played in the uh well what well not the tutorial when I just played it uh, to see how this game worked. So I haven't played further than this yet. Crouching. An enemy shield of view has two areas, bright and dark. Press space to toggle crouch and move for the dark area undetected. Objects like bushes and rocks create dark areas for you. Crouching also keeps you hidden on higher ground. Okay. <laughs> Uh, balls too high, I guess I'll take a detour. So I can... Okay, I can only have one of them at the same time, okay. So we can... We can go around this way. We can also go into this house. Yeah, no one will see that. So let's see where this leads us. No, it's just the hiding area for a second. Alright, let's go over here. As long as you stay crouched. I don't know what this is over here, but... So we'll figure it out. Uh... Oh, throwing stones. I have to confer stones to distract enemies. <clears throat> press D, choose the target spot, and press the left mouse button to throw a stone. Enemies within the blue circle will look towards the point of impact for a few seconds. You can't lure enemies with stones, but a few seconds of distraction go a long way. Okay. What is this, though? Uh, alt. What is that? No idea. It's a highlighted thing, though. Right, um... D. Right, so we throw one over there. We'll get into bushes, I guess. Alright. Twats. I'm out of here. Oh, fuck. Almost got murdered. Oh, man. I got looked like a beast. Oh, fuck him up. Yeah, obviously during the Edo period they had martial art guns and such. Alright, 
Let's go. Alright. Then that is what we shall do. Last save, alright. It's, uh, yeah, I need to do that every once in a while, otherwise I'm gonna get myself screwed over. Right. Shuriken. Can kill one enemy from medium range. Press S, choose a target, and use the L to throw. Okay. Uh, blue circle. Uh, okay. Make sure to recover the shuriken before you move on. Ah, that's good to know. Right, so you... Oh, he keeps looking. Okay, so I have to... Time this, essentially. Get out of here! That's awesome. Alright, just walk over it. I may as well put this guy in here. There you go. Get out of here. Okay, so we gotta get this guy somehow. He... Yeah, he's just gonna see us, isn't he? Oh, I guess we can... Oh my god, that was close. Can we shoot a confirm? Yeah, we can. Alright, sweet. That was an easy one. Oh man, I love the shuriken. Pretty good stuff. Can we get up there? Oh, we have to actually hit the ladder. There we go. Uh, I don't feel like I need to get rid of this guy. Okay, so I gotta do something here with those logs, I guess. Ah, I distracted them. Ah! Oh! oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> well, they're dead. おのしのおかげだったのか。直を聞かせてくれ。ちゃんと礼を言いたい。先に中に入れてくれないか。感謝されるなら面と向かっての方がいい。よかろう。もう開けて礼を言いたそう。All right. Uh, do you want me to get in there? Is there a way up here somewhere? I am confused. Um, just click on him. Wait. Oh, right. Apparently I'm an idiot. I just have to, uh, change characters. Right. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that during his talking, but... Sake bottle. Mugen can use a sake bottle as bait to lure enemies. Press D, choose a target spot on mouse one, or, uh, mouse, left mouse button. That's so weird, mouse L, to place the bottle. Enemies can spot the bottle in the bright area of their field of view. If an enemy picks up the bottle, you must incapacitate them to get it back. Uh, okay. I see. I see. Come on, get it. It's a bottle. You want that, don't you? Give me that. It's my bottle, man. She didn't write. You can't just take my bottle like that. Okay. Oh, sword wind. Oh, that's what he was doing just now. Mugen can use a sword wind technique to kill all enemies within range. Press S, then choose a target spot and use mouse left to execute the, the attack. Okay. We're gonna dash to the center of the red circle and kill everyone within range. Very effective as long cooldown user of care. Okay. There's something over here, and there's the door there, which I guess I'm supposed to open. But first, I guess we'll walk over here. Okay, so that that range is pretty crap. Hello. Oh, I thought that guy was going to survive just for a second. Hey, I got a uh, a thing. All right now, I'm supposed to use a cannon, I guess. All right, fine. I guess I'll use a cannon. I'm sure they won't notice that. How convenient it was placed directly at the door. なるほど。Alright, if you want to make a sure spot is on watch, use the view code marker. Choose a target spot and use the place. Okay. Enemies that see the view code marker are highlighted, so once they lose sight of it, the highlight disappears. Right. I, uh... 
So I completely missed how you do that. So can he? No, he can't. He can go through there, though. Okay. Sorry, I didn't really pay attention to what they were saying, but... Right, so there's, there's a bunch of guys. We gotta get this guy, obviously. Right. Oh shit, uh, didn't realize that was his range. What's the uh, range on this thing? That's pretty good. Okay, that should be able to work. Got to time this again now. Alright. That's going rather well. I'm gonna need that back, sir. I'm very sorry, but uh, you know. If you know how things are, I mean, you can't afford these shurikens are expensive, man. I can't just leave them around and all that. Okay. Just gonna murder this guy without them seeing that, right? Let's assume so. And then mid, mid jump, I'll save it. If I put him in here, does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. All right, so I can jump down. Let's see. It's probably, I guess I can't actually. I can go this way as well. Oh shit! No, 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 no! I don't. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Wow. Okay, I gotta wait for these guys to pass. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking something really cool here. It's coming, guys. Oh shit, really? Oh god, that's not good. Hide, hide, hide. I'm guessing they're gonna find me in here, but... Okay, this is very bad. Uh, can I just like kill? Oh god, what's happening? This isn't supposed to happen, is it? Nope. No. Okay. Come here. No. Damn it. Uh, this isn't this isn't exactly the way I wanted it to do it, but but it, you know it. Kind of worked, ish. I don't know if they're gonna find me up here. I think I got my shuriken back, so I should be able to kill them like one by one. But uh oh, did they see that? I was like, this guy's about to come in here. This is bad. Um, I mean, we're uh, I can kill another one just like that. It's an officer there as well. I wonder, this guy's ability is probably off cooldown. I'm walking. Oh shit. Oh god. This is going horribly wrong. Ah shit. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, I didn't expect this. Uh. No, my god, this is impossible. Okay, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Alright, I've got another idea. Uh, right there. Oh, no. Yes! That worked. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, that, that was almost awesome. I mean, it wasn't very- oh crap. Is that guy gonna see anything? No, he's not. Okay. Okay, alright. Alright. We even got to use that guy, so that's good. I don't think anyone's patrolling around here, so I don't- sh I shouldn't have to clean up these bodies. Um... Right. It's okay. Kill him fast enough. Okay, give me that back. I need to pick you up as well. Why don't you, uh, sleep in these bushes for a second, will ya? Alright, what's your cooldown then? Oh, it's like, it's not that long. It's pretty decent. Alright, why don't you come up here? You're gonna have to take care of these two guys. My god, can you yell 
a little louder, please. Um, yeah, they're both looking the wrong way. In fact, I might be able to set them up like right. Oh, oh God, hold on, I should quick save it first. I'm gonna try something here. If I just place him like right there, they should. No one should see him. And then I place him like right behind the other guy, and it would just do like a double assassination. I'm not sure if you can do that fast enough, but I'm assuming you can. Yeah, that seemed to work. Uh, probably should, uh, can't really clean up these bodies. Never mind. Oh my god, he just like. Okay, just put him down. <laughs> That's not, not quite what I was going for, but sure. Alright, um, you, why don't you get on here, and we'll, uh, run you around this way. Should be able to walk him into here, shouldn't I? I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to be going anymore. Uh, do a bit of the old zooming this around. Okay, okay. and you need to come... Wait, can you not go anywhere from here? Oh yeah, I can just walk him over. Right. You killed this guy. Is he far and too far or no? He probably is. Okay, we're gonna have to do something a little special here. Oh shit, there's a guy right there! My god, I didn't see him. But it's, it's okay. It's okay, alright, drop him in here. Uh, you might as well pick this guy up. Drop him in there. Okay. All right. It doesn't. It doesn't stay zoomed out when you do that. Okay. I didn't realize that. Man, where are we supposed to? Oh my God! There's so much to go. Okay. I thought I was doing quite well, but apparently this is the longest mission, like already. So that's something. Okay. Uh, I mean, anyone can kill this guy. I guess. There's no real. No real need to use anyone over anyone else. Uh, yeah, you can literally walk up to him and kill him. All right, sorry, bud. Let's fill that, pick that up. You pick that guy up. Drop him in there. Shadow mode. If you want multiple characters to act simultaneously, use shadow mode. Ah. Okay. Well, we kind of did that before, but I'm assuming this is better than that. Use left shift to switch to shadow mode. You can save one action per character. Press enter to execute all saved actions at once. All right. Well, you know, I think this is as good a place to end it as any. I kind of wanted to do the entire mission in one uh, one video, but it looks like there's still quite a bit to go. we got to go all the way over there, so let's just end it here. And next time we're going to continue and finish this first mission, I imagine. So until then, thank you all very much for watching the first episode of Shadow Blade, Shadow Strike, Blade of the Shogun, or something or other. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool name, but I can't remember it. So until then, have a good day and goodbye.